Oh no, it's a threat! <laughs> nah, it's a three way. No, there is no way. There is no way. That's it, yo. That's it. That's it. There is no way. She about to get the Sasha Gray premium treatment. This going on Bug Hug, baby. <laughs> yo, Bug Hug. Come on in. And we are back with the even bigger Island of Giant Insects, Chapter 2, Part 2, Horn. And look at that beetle. He's still in there trying to see naked baby girls. Hey, I don't blame him. I would want to, too. <laughs> Pull yourself together. We have to evacuate from this spot without panicking. Thank goodness you're all all right. Kai, oh, he came with a piece. He must be taking a shower, too. He got a shirt off and stuff. He's got the pants on. No way. Anyway. Chitose, if we don't hurry and find Ayama, she could be in danger. Oh, man. That's the danger. Well, she could get attacked by a monster beetle. But they don't attack humans, do they? They do attack them. Huh, nanny? <laughs> that giant bug. Isn't it targeting us? Because the nearby street light is broken. I think it must have been attracted by the light in the shower room. However, we happen to be there. When it comes to beetles, people get a strong impression that they eat fruit such as watermelon. But watermelon has poor nutritional value and is only for rehydration. Oh, I did not know that. That's interesting. What wild beetles need is the high protein of vegetables that is included in sap and all sorts of amino acids. You gotta get those amino acids, those vitamins, those minerals. Protein and amino acids, you say? You mean us? <laughs> oh yeah, hey, I don't, hey, I ain't lying. I don't <laughs> yeah, want y'all protein and amino <laughs> acids too, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll stop. No! Oh yeah, yeah, people, people are definitely full of protein and amino acids. Please calm down and move quietly. Because most beetles are blind, they are very sensitive to sound. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I did not know that. So they're sort of like the blind ones from Turok 2. Remember the layer of the blind ones? Oh man, I hated doing that. That mission in Turok 2. It was cool though. The story is fiction. It has no connection to real life people or organizations. I hope not. When other males hear one scrabbling for either food or a female, they will gather because they're sensitive to the same kinds of sounds, which means they're gonna be traveling in troops. Yeah, y'all need to get out of there, need to skedaddle. You mean it'll call others? I don't think it called for them, but I do believe that it's very likely some will gather. Everyone, we have to leave here ASAP. Please don't hurry or make any sounds or panic. Yeah, just leave calm and collectively and cool, and y'all should be good. The Japanese rhinoceros beetle. I'm gonna butcher this name, bear with me. Tripoxia, Stodermatus, unidentified subspecies, or Cleopatera, family, Scarabida, subfamily, Dynastine, genus, Alamarina. From an egg in August to becoming larva around the July of the following year, the rhinoceros beetle transforms completely from pupa to adult in just one year. That is an amazing growth spurt. It likes to eat sap in the natural world, and when breeding, it needs to eat mostly foods with lots of proteins to live longer. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay, some buildings. Oh, there she goes, walking alone. Yeah, that's definitely not, you know, bad or anything. Like, why would you want to be by yourself? In a place swarming with insects. Die. I don't know. I knew it. There's no safe place anywhere, and you're definitely not going to find it alone. All they want to do was carelessly take a shower. But if I stayed there, I could have gotten eaten myself. But what am I going to do now? I need to rely on Oribe meets me. The bottom of the school cast. Oh man. Must be a flashback. Yep, yeah, flashback to school days. I ain't talking about the anime. <laughs> Dang, she got covered in water? Oh, someone must have played a prank on her. Oh, that's so messed up. Oribe, what happened? Nothing. It's because she didn't prepare herself to be bullied. That's messed up. How you gonna bully her? Say no to bullying. Oh man. Ah. Oribe meets me. Please relax. I'll protect you from the insects. Whoa, she having a fantasy? Oh, man. I guess her making out. Hey, yeah. <laughs> she let her intrusive thoughts win. Hey, I ain't mad at it. <laughs> what? Huh? Huh? What am I thinking? <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't like the looks of that. That looks menacing. What? Is something there? Oh, yeah, there probably is. There's no light at all. Mm, be quiet. Kia! Oh, that definitely ain't quiet. There are several rhinoceros beetles nearby. Please be careful, Oribe. 
Why should we be careful about the beetles? I told you a little while ago, but even though beetles are blind, they can sense light and darkness to a certain extent, and they make and they make up for, for the lack of sight. They have extremely good hearing. In a dark forest at night, they can fly without hitting an obstacle. Dang, that's crazy, for real? It's said that they can avoid obstacles by sensing the scent of their own fluttering and the trees. To them, it's like listening to the sounds of the sonar or a submarine. In theory, it is that that allows them to measure the distance. Oh, sonar. I understand. We'll have to be very careful about making noise. That's going right. If they can fly in darkness around trees without hitting anything, their perception of sound must be incredibly accurate and good. Good Lord. Did you pray today? Oh, there's a beetle. Oh, no. Big bad beetle Borg. Oh, no. Some place. Go someplace else. Oh, he's right in front of her. Oh, no. This could be it. This could be it. If you don't leave, I'll simply have to evade you. Ah! <laughs> Yo, this beetle's in Weave Nation. Look at it. Oh, as soon as she dodged, he went right to her. This beetle knows Ultra Instinct. Oh, no. Oh, man. This could be it. Could this be it? I don't know. Eee! <laughs> She's running away. See ya. Another one from. Oh, no. He's a, he brought, there's another homie there. Oh no, it's a threat! <laughs> no, it's a three way. No, there is no way. There is no way. That's it, yo. That's it. That's it. There's no way. She about to get the Sasha Gray premium treatment. This going on Bug Hub, baby. <laughs> yo, Bug Hug. Come on in. Oh no. There's no way, there's no way, there's no way she, there, look, look, she, all her exits are blocked. That's a wrap. She's she about to get the treatment. No. Oh man. Huh. Oh, she fell down. Oh, she wet herself. <laughs> she peed herself. You know what? I was kind of, you know, I know in a way I still kind of feel bad, but I'm not going to lie. This does put a smile on my face to finally see her drop down to her lowest low. But could this be it? You know, I, I was going to, you know, I, I was kind of going to laugh at that till she wet herself. You know, do I do I feel kind of bad? Uh, would I like to see her get a comeuppance? Oh, most yes! definitely. Yes! Yeah, still to go out that way. Well, why are they targeting me? I, I should have listened to what Oribe said. No, somebody, Miss Baraka, Miss Nozewabi, saved me. Oh man, this could be. Nah, it's probably not. Cause you know there's some cosmic force that's gonna save Ayama. It always, it never fails. This chick evades death more than. <laughs> Like she's the, she's basically she evades death better than Deadpool. Like, come on, there's something's gonna save her. somebody or something's gonna happen. And what I tell you, iron sights aiming down from above. There they go, just in the nick of time. No! 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 Ain't that swell? Don't a beetle's head and chest are made of hard armor. You need armor piercing rounds for that baby, FMJ. <laughs> Even if the bullets hit, the damage they would yield would be far from the time like the dragonfly nymphs. And the bullets may also bounce back. Are you saying that we just abandoned Ayama? Mmm. Mitsumi's looking for something. What's that in the trash can? Uh-oh. What, what in the world she's doing? She's got a fishing pole. What? <laughs> She about to play that bass game from Sega Dreamcast. I'm gonna fight the Beatles with this. How is she gonna fight the Beatles? That's what I wanna know. With a fishing pole? I mean, she. I mean, it's a long, it's a long fishing pole. She might get her key lick from Soul Calibur 2 on. I don't know, but we about to find out next chapter. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like, favorite, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a lovely day. God bless you. Peace. <laughs>